Good morning from Hendry's Beach in Santa Barbara. It's a really foggy day, but it's nice and warm. So people are out walking their dogs, including me. Here's my dog. Here's my sister's dog. Anyway, it's pretty quiet in this section. Got some kayakers out. So I'll just walk along and show you the scenery for a few minutes. On the cliffs above there, that's a preserve. So for part of there, there are no homes. You can walk up there and get a great view. It's low tide right now. Thank you for the hearts, I appreciate it. We're at Hendry's Beach in Santa Barbara on a fairly quiet morning. We had a, some excitement a few minutes ago because a guy tried to climb down a cliff like that to get his dog but he got stuck so we had to call the fire department. It's really peaceful out this morning on the beach. If you ever come to Hendry's Beach you'll notice I'm not walking very close to the cliffs. That's because they're fairly unstable and parts of them fall down, which is why it was foolish of that guy to try to climb the cliff to get his dog. So if you ever come here to Santa Barbara and, and you come to Hendry's Beach, don't walk too close to the cliffs. Why? Because they're unstable. Parts of the cliffs fall down. There are some caves and people go in them and I always know they're not locals because they look so exciting but you can be walking along and just a little piece of cliff will start falling and usually once or twice a year someone gets hurt or killed. So it's a beautiful, beautiful foggy day, very low tide. I also put up a bunch of pictures. I even got one of the guy stuck on the cliff over on my Instagram account, which is also Alexander Funfit. So if you go over there, you'll see the fireman planning how to rescue him. But I had to take the dogs away because they were barking at the fireman. The direction we're walking right now would be toward the harbor, only it would take us about 45 minutes to an hour. And then we wouldn't be able to walk back because the tide would come in before we could get back. If I walked that way, it would be toward the university. Way off in the distance behind the cliff that you can see is another cliff that you can barely see. That's where the university is. If you do come ever here, there's a restaurant right here on the beach here at Hendry's. It's also known as Arroyo Burro. We don't get a lot of tourists here, it's mostly locals, so now you know the secret place. I'll give you a little close-up of some of the tide pool stuff. without actually getting my feet wet. So we have... <laughs> That's just my dog's playing. There's a stand-up paddler back there in the background. Thank you. Somebody's giving me hearts. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. When the tide's really, really low, like if we have a big storm, like uh, with the El Nino we're expecting, then all the sand right here goes away, and this is... Um, the tide pools will go all the way out to that rock you see there in the background. So these tide... If you have kids or you like tide pools, come at low tide here. We call this part shark's teeth, or dragon's teeth. 
You can see sea urchins, sea anemones. You saw the mollusks and the mussels. That's a sea anemone. I'll show you what happens when you touch them. So you see how they close up. They thought it might be a delicious snack. <laughs> so they close up. I'll just walk another minute or two so you can see the stand-up paddler. I'm keeping my eye open in case we see any dolphins. Because generally we can spot a dolphin or two. If you ever do come here and you have a dog, when you get to the beach, go to the left. Good, both of my dogs are peeing. Go to the left, because if you go to the right, no dogs allowed. Here we go, here's our stand-up paddler. Maybe he'll spot some dolphins. I read in the paper this morning that a woman was swimming, not at this beach, but at a different Santa Barbara beach, and she had to fight off a, it was either a seal or a sea lion attack. So yeah, they're really cute, but they'll bite you. So down there, fallen trees from the unstable cliff. And that's our morning foggy view of Henry's Beach. I'm Alexandra Funfit. Till next time. And again, I've got some great pics around Santa Barbara and fitness on my Instagram at Alexandra Funfit. And our blog is funandfit.org. I'll see you next time. You're welcome.